Hi, this is Hal Helms, and this video accompanies a blog entry for April 9th, 2009, which you can find at halhelms.com slash blog. In this video, we'll walk through using enhanced jQuery tabs. We'll start by looking at the application running in a browser. And you can see it has a nice little menu effects. These are gained by using a jQuery plugin called Lava Lamp. I've used the simple no images version, but you can enhance the effects either by using their built-in images or by providing your own. I'll start by clicking home and a tab opens up with some riveting information in it. When we move to services, we get a new tab and you can see that this entire demo is really a poorly disguised promotion for those who might want to hire me. Alas, everything these days is about self-promotion. And then finally projects show some of the larger projects that I've worked on. Now I can close the tab, so let's close for example home, by uh, clicking on this little delete image and it removes the tab. If I click it again, it reappears. But what if I click on one of these, let's say services? Well, I don't want it to open up a duplicate services tab, I simply want it to select services and that's exactly what it do does. Now this is not the behavior that's built into the jQuery tabs, it's something that I added and that we'll look at shortly. Let's switch to the code. And we'll start with the index CFM page. You can see that this is a very simple HTML page. There's um, no uh, JavaScript processing on it and the only call fusion code is this call to the uh, see if include the template index PGM. If you're wondering why I have this rather than just including the code right on the page, a few months ago I was thinking about the idea of separating code from display and I had been working with uh, Ruby which like the .NET languages allows a single class file to be split among separate files and I wondered at the time why anyone would want to do this and it occurred to me that I could separate my display from my logic by uh, splitting these over two files. This makes it really attractive because I can hand off my uh, HTML page to a designer for styling and they don't get confused either by a bunch of JavaScript or by um, a cold fusion code. Now, of course, if I were doing something like looping over a query, I'd, I'd need that cold fusion code in there, but it does as little as, uh, as we can possibly do. Uh, this idea of splitting a file, into, or a class rather, into separate files is behind Microsoft's code behind or code beside or whatever preposition they're using with code these days. So let's look at the index PGM file. I have my processing logic here and I begin by including the two style sheets that will be needed for the jQuery UI and for the Lava Lamp plugin. Next I have a little bit of style and this is just going to provide a hand cursor when you mouse over the delete image on those tabs. Then I include several JavaScript files. The first one is the uh, jQuery library itself. Now I've included this from my local hard drive but a better plan would probably be to include it from the Google Content Delivery Network or CDN. Next I've included um, a customized jQuery UI plugin file. And if you haven't explored the jQuery UI yet, you should. They've done a fantastic job of customizing the look and feel through something they call Theme Roller. It's really, it's just another example of how well thought out jQuery is. Okay, we'll end this uh, little video and we'll move on to the next one.